So, did you guys know that Nagoro makes other video games? Nakuri Masuda! Yeah, if you ever wondered what uh, Jotaro did after the whole Dio debacle, I think this is a good representation. So yeah, um, all the software in La Mulana are actually real games Nagoro has made, and today we're going to be playing my favorite software combination. First one is Mikuri Master, where you flip skirts. Imagine if Nagoro was a Western game developer. I really don't want to, because they can't- I don't think you could get away with this anywhere. This is pretty much the best game ever. I like how he also has a theme song. Yeah, the, the theme song is amazing. I, I think we should shut up when that happens. Yeah. Assuming you got it, if, if you didn't get Makuri Master. Oh, I, I keep getting Makuri Master, don't worry. <laughs> yes. I like his description. A pathetic creature who lives only for the murder when it, moment when a skirt flies up. Uh, yeah, the all the descriptions in this game and everything is just fucking ridiculous. Member of a gang of thugs, when the gang learned that the Makuri Master was around, they decided to clean up the hallways. Uh, man. The, the Guidance Counselor is like the hardest fucking part of this game. Well, yeah, because you have to time it so well. Also, why does yeah. the girl go- why does the girl gang member have both a Vega mask and an afro? I didn't realize Japan had redheads. It's anime, so it doesn't have to make sense. That's true. His descriptions are so ridiculous. Yeah, Nagoro seems to be a very fun-loving company. Well, they are like, what, eight guys in a apartment just making video games? It's kinda great. You mean that they're not hipsters at fucking Starbucks wanting to make their favorite indie fucking story? Nope. Also, here's the timing for uh, being the Makuri Master. You gotta be, like, perfectly aligned with the skirts regions or else you fuck up. Which I do. Yeah, I, I've been playing this with the touchpad and it's the hardest fucking thing. Also, you can apparently choose your panties in this game, which is weird. Yeah, I choose bloomers. So the idea with this game is that you just move your mouse to do it, which is so a lot more disorienting than you think. Yeah, it's, it's really fucking hard to get a hang of. Especially when it's like constantly moving at a smooth frame rate, it's just ugh. Now, can you tell us what that Makuri meter is for? Oh, we'll see later. I don't think now though, because I fucked this up pretty bad. But Makuri meter is basically your HP and your super meter. Basically, this is the greatest fighting game ever made. Yes. It's pure balance. Also, she had red panties. Yeah, if you, uh, if you miss, like, the regular girls, you'll just, like, miss, but if you miss the, uh, the gang members or the gang leaders, you'll get fucking destroyed. Yeah. It's, it's like a train wreck of bad shit that happens. Yeah, when you start fucking up, you start fucking up. I, I believe this is the- oh, I think this is the part where we get the, uh, Makuri Master. Oh, and yeah, don't, uh, don't accidentally try to lift up the skirts of the boys. Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I fucking adore that theme song. Yeah, I get it a lot better later on, but if you notice, there was a lot more Yakuza members in there. Yeah. God, I just keep fucking up so bad. Yeah, I'm very good at this. It's so hard. Maybe if you're a casual. Oh, well, maybe I am. This game is tough. <clears throat> so that's what happens if you fuck up with a uh, female gang leader. You get just, so long. You just get turbo dead. Now, I believe this part's gonna demo the, uh, yep, guidance counselor. Yeah. The Guidance Counselor will one-shot you. Yeah, she's fucking terrible. The idea with the Guidance Counselor is you gotta wait till she's looking to the right, or else you get wife harm. Yeah, it's, it's almost better to avoid them. But her panties are just so alluring. I also think I get Makuri mode wave one here. 
So you, you said you played this with a touchpad. How's that working out for you? Yeah, it's um, it's very hard. I hear it's but it. But it kind of works because you you need the low DPI to play this game, so it kind of works. And yeah, notice in Makuri mode, you uh, you pretty much always get perfects, and it gets like a lot of girls at once. Yeah, you can combo uh, moments. I didn't get a good combo that time, but um, I got like consecutive grabs at once, which is great. Yeah. Also, his hair turns blonde when he goes Makuri Master. Yeah, because he goes Super Saiyan. Yep. Should probably mention that Makuri means like flipping. Yeah, and apparently in Japan, Japanese or Moon Runes, it means just ooh, it didn't that didn't kill me. Why would anyone master this art? Why wouldn't they? I wasted my high school life. <laughs> yeah, it's true. But I really don't like the fact of getting uh, kneed in the groin or wooden swords upside my head. Well, obviously you're not a master. But yeah, you don't get perfects all the time in Makuri Master Mode, they're just a lot easier. Yeah, because you got that, uh, that slowdown. Also, look at all the fucking gang members, holy shit! <laughs> Jeez, you're not lucky at this. Also, Gengoro in the background, but whatever. So, I never really figured out what, like, the red panty counter was for. Is, is that, like, for getting, like, seeing girls with the panties of the colors you chose on the main menu? Yeah. Ooh, I get a counselor huh. that time. Oh, nice. But yeah, that counter's there for no apparent reason. I thought it might, like, give you a Makuri boost, but nah. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just like, hey, this is your favorite kind of panty. There you go. Yeah, it's red panties are love. Oh, fuck! Ah, uh, you get fucked up. I think I get another one, but those are really tough. They drain your meters super fast. Hell yeah, revenge. Oh god, you're getting nervous. Yep. Now, after the third stage, you get a mini game, which I completely blow logs at. There are actually a few mini games in this. No! You are terrible. Yeah, I do not get the lunch today. But this is probably this is the last run and the farthest I ever got because I just got progressively badder and badder. Oh, you didn't get the uh, the other mini game? I couldn't. I played this for like two hours straight. I could not get past stage four. This is no longer a comprehensive let's play. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> There's a skill ceiling and I hit it, and this is normal mode. It's a shame I actually really like the other minigame. <laughs> oh, fuck. You've got to stop trying to fucking get the guidance counselors. But it's so worth it! So this is another game I like, Rose and Camille. There's oh, three Lana, Lana. There's three incarnations, and I was thinking about playing the normal one, but like, literally a month ago they made this one, which is basically the entirety of Rose and Camille, but with the Slime and Lana characters. It's basically perfect. Yeah, I, I figured it'd be appropriate since we not only just unlocked that character on the screen, but uh, well, it is a La Milana Let's Play. So this is a game I haven't played. Yeah, this is a game that's actually surprisingly tough. It's harder than Makuri Master, believe it or not. But yeah, the idea is that you're supposed to use your mouth to swipe and sla bitch slap women. They could also dodge, they could counterattack, they could just generally ruin your life. We have four characters in this game. We have Mulbrook, who we just unlocked in the video game, the shopkeeper on the surface, and two characters you probably don't know, because we haven't seen them yet. Oh, no secret fairies? Oh, yeah, we have the uh, Queen of the Secret Fairies, but I don't think we saw the uh, vid where we unlock them. But yeah, here's the controls. Just swipe your mouse. They really like mouse controls, don't they? 
Yep. Also, you get critical hits in this game, which I do a lot. Is that like a timing thing or like a precision? Mechanic? I don't know if it's timing or precision. It seems like precision because you'll see it with the ghost fight, but man. So after my uh, stream sets up the actual, you know, game, because I can't highlight this in OBS, you could actually see Rose and Camille. There we yeah, go. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I'm you know, scrolling down just for a little bit of context. They're basically fighting to see who's the main female lead. Oh, Lord. Oh, I gotta warn you, this is pretty anime. Uh, Sasuga. Oh god, this the hello. Yeah, this ca the uh, shopkeeper is actually really fucking spastic in game. I love how they transferred that to this game. But the idea is you have attack modes and you have defense modes. When you're in defense mode, you also have the opportunity to counterattack. Cross counter. This is actually one of the hardest fights for me because not only are you just starting out, this chick evades a lot. Like, I don't think you see much of this fight, but you'll see a lot of counter- a lot of dodges and counterattacks from her. <laughs> also, that was a critical hit. This is the worst fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. She looks so happy to be taking it. Yeah, I, I forgot to mention it during the description, but this is apparently a uh, quote-unquote sport. Yeah. Also, have you noticed that uh, the face has been progressively changing as we bitch slap her? Yeah, battle damage. This is uh, truly an amazing game. So what's the uh, the meter up the top left? Is that like turn time? Yeah, it's basically a QTE time. Also that midriff. Oh god, she's a ghost. Yeah, and sh Mulbra can attack ghosts. Oh, this is part of the, the lore. So, um, the ghost is really good at counterattacks, but this is offset by the fact that you have a long attack window. Oh, fuck. Yeah, ghost is also the only person that could get counterattack crits and regular crits against you, so if you fuck up, you fuck up. I'm really digging her uh, critical hit face. Yeah, it's so weird because the cr I could, from what I've seen, the crit area for her is slapping her in the eye. Huh. So does a uh, Mulbrook get battle damage if she gets hurt, or? Unfortunately, no, because a you can't tell, and b you don't defile the face of Mulbrook. How is a ghost bleeding? Or is that ectoplasm? I, I don't know. So I completely fucking destroy her, but there is like... I want to show off something else in the fact that her counterattacks just fucking wreck you. Like, this was a bad run I recorded. But you'll see in a minute. Oh, wow. Yeah, she she is really good at getting counterattacks if you fuck up. Truly the Dark Souls of, uh, woman-beating games. Yep. 
That's a game over screen. Loser. I did that on purpose. Totally. Now this is where it gets really fucking anime. I don't appear much in Long Mulano. I have bigger tits, so I am queen of the fairies. Fuck you. <laughs> I will slap you down, and then I will become the true queen. So yeah, um, she's really fucking hard. She's good at dodging, good at counterattacking, and she gets double attacks. Oh wow. Also, I have not beaten her yet. Supposedly there's a fourth hidden boss after this character, but I've yet to see it. But yeah, you gotta be really fast when you're doing this, and I don't know where her crit animation is. Oh man, that's quick. You can't fight Nature Wang. But yeah, this is pretty much me getting destroyed by her because I can't win. I cannot beat this chick, goddammit. Yeah, wow, this looks really fucking difficult. I, I want to see the uh, the final boss though. So I demand you make another video. The final boss is one of the uh, guardians, but I can't get to it. It's physically impossible for me. Like, it seems like the best way to beat her is through counterattacks, but fuck, it's so tough. And that's minigames for this video. There's like eight more that we could power through, and I'm probably going to bring you on for those, but uh... GG. Thanks, man.